Apple has quietly released the developer strap that we've seen in a few of the promotional videos, which replaces your right plastic part. That's the strap on the right of the goggle, HMD, uh, that uh, has a USB-C port. This is still going to allow pass-through of audio and function correctly. Just remember you're going to have a USB-C on a very short cord uh, on that rotational piece that's attached to the device, really meant for debugging. It is currently only available to active app developers. And as a reminder, that's $99 a year uh, for sole proprietors. I can't speak for anybody who has discounts or companies that have to spend more. I, but the point is, you need an active developer account to even see the sale page. And this is what the sale page looks like. Now, uh, do not buy this just as a be able to mount your perpetuals, like put in uh, your keyboard uh, as hardwired or try to use dongles and other such things and or storage. Do not just buy it for that. I would highly recommend you only buy it if you actually do develop and you're going to use it for what it's meant to do uh, as a debugging system and being able to load in new code and test new code and simulate. Because if this thing is locked down, you're going to regret that you can't really use the port for anything other than that. And speaking of how to actually start developing for for this, you go into settings, general remote devices on the Mac, go to devices and simulator window in Xcode, and pair everything. And when you go to pair, you will see that there is a code that you enter on the device. You enter the code on the Mac, then you go to the develop mode in settings, privacy and security, scrolling to the bottom on the VP, and you will be able to uh, basically lock everything down. Some people have noted already, unfortunately, that the code system is not exactly perfect yet. Uh, they have like messages that pop up that say that code's not valid or the code's not uh, already in service somewhere else. So um, I think this is something where we're talking about the first 24 hours that the general public and, and developers at large even are having access to this device. I'm sure that'll be ironed out in the next few days. And I am certain as these developer straps start getting delivered to people, and then and, um, I've seen developer strap uh, people talking that, that basically the 6th through the 9th of the month of February. So in the next few days, people will have these in their hands. We will know what's going on. And of course, now that we actually have the device, there will be, I'm certain, third parties that will attempt to have their own versions of this developer strap. So I, I and probably far less than $300 for a single part like this. That being said, if you're actually developing for Xcode and, and, and you want to load everything in officially and do it, do it the right way, um, this is still a viable option, especially if you're actually using it commercially. I'm thinking more of people that are suddenly thinking this is an option to uh, load in a USB-C dongle. Uh, to act as a base uh, of operations, basically, you know, a set of uh, options. And um, myself, my mind races that way too, but think developer first and anything else is icing on the cake. We'll see how the tests go for everybody who's buying these. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks again for sticking around to my long-term subscribers. And yeah, that's it.